Hey guys, you will not believe whose house I'm in right now. I'm not gonna say who, but you know, while he's off moving and stuff like that, I decided to come over and touch all of his stuff, and there's nothing he can do about it, okay? But I'm a good friend, we're close friends, and I like him. Oh, and Jerry did not try to stop me, right Jerry? I tried to stop you. Jerry did not try to stop me, right? The door was locked, I don't know how you even got in here. Hi Jerry, yay Jerry! You guys have a super mega weekend, okay? Stay classy. Oh, Daryl. And that's the whole reason I have a guard, Jerry. What happened, Jerry? All right, just for that, I'm gonna go out and get my own toys that Daryl can't touch, because we're in Pennsylvania, and he's in California. Mm -hmm. We're going to Montgomeryville? Yep. To Montgomeryville. I don't know if the thing we want will fit in the car, but we'll try. 75. <laughs> Crab people. It's like almost a thousand dollars off. Yes. I, I did it. <laughs> I was trying to steal it, but they have a thing on there. Uh, uh, uh. Shh. 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 Quick, Mia, run. Quick. Okay, Wednesday, 8 to 12. We've done it. Mia's signing her little name. Her little name? It's a little name, Mia. <laughs> Hooray, I have a YouTuber camera. We're gonna paint this town red. That's the thing you say, right? Is that, is that what you say, Mia? <laughs> Does anybody say that anymore? Is, is that not a thing people say? Isn't that something that people said a long, long time ago? Oh. Skip Toys R Us. All right, we're gonna do some chicken eggs. My pleasure. <laughs> we can have this little private. We had leftover sauce, so we had to get more fries. Friday. It's time for a big, giant television. <laughs> Here we go. What have we done? There is nothing bigger <laughs> that could fit in that bedroom, and hopefully this will fit. <laughs> I, ho I hope we know what we're doing here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, there it is. Ooh. <laughs> this is like a Disney World show. Ooh, that was not adorable. I am pleased with our 75 inch television. <laughs> I'm actually glad this person left this comment. You are a mouthpiece, plain and simple. You get preferential treatment from the companies. So no, you don't have to have been paid by them, but those trips to Saban and Bandai must have been real nice. I mean, not that I enjoy reading comments like that, but that very well illustrates what we've been seeing for like the past year or so. This was the first thing I saw when I got up this morning, and I'm seeing whether it's Bandai themselves or their bona fide spokesperson, Emma PR Toys, we are constantly told that I've known Toku Nation for years. I always thought they were like a well-known, trusted, legit Power Ranger news site. And I know there have been many times in the past where I've said, for more info, go see their stuff. Not, here's 30 images I pulled off their website and put into my video. More like, here's some stuff that's coming out. If you want to see it, go to their website. For them to actually post that on their website, on Toku Nation, that's kind of giving validation to the people that say, oh, he's in Bandai's pocket. He just says whatever they, they make him say, or he's a show for Bandai. You guys know what I'm saying, right? It's different than if they just posted that on Twitter. All we ever tried to post is stuff that's fun, that's creative, that's entertaining, that's positive, that's informative. You know, we don't post on our MMPR Toys YouTube, hey, this this guy here is a such and such, or this website is, you know, never on that channel. I don't know why people do it to us. And also, we're on the same side with the Gold Ranger. I mean, everybody knows that we were at Bandai. The last time we were there was in January, so it's been a while now. People act like we go to Bandai every day, and we don't even live in California anymore. We moved to Pennsylvania. So almost a year ago already, we were at Bandai, and I saw the really nice looking Gold Zeo prototype, and I was like, there's no way it's gonna look this nice. So on video, which they knew I was taking and they knew I was posting to be public within the fandom, I was like, okay, we had the weird eyebrows on the Red Ranger, we had the black, blue, and pink belts that were messed up. Yellow Ranger even didn't have the bolts after the three previous belt gate thing. Red and yellow Ninja Storm Rangers have their morphers swapped, so there's been some, some funny business. The Gold Ranger, it's like, he really needs to be gold like that. So I did ask on video, is it gonna look this nice? I thought that would be putting like a little more pressure on them to get this one right, to make sure that it really comes out looking all nice and gold. It's
this one figure, 20 bucks. It doesn't come with a build a figure thing, right? So it's just the figure and one weapon, not even like multiple versions of the power staff. You would think for just one ranger and it, he's got three colors. He's got black, gold, and white. Most of that is just solid molded plastic. It's not paint apps. So you'd think for a $20 limited edition adult collectible legacy thing that they could make the gold ranger gold. So if you're upset about that, I'm on the same side as I have been in every previous error or thing that wasn't right. I don't know why people like plug their ears every time I say something like that and then say that I only say nice things because anyway, thank you everybody that came to our defense. That's always appreciated. At the same time, like, you know, even if you agree with us, I'm never asking anyone to attack anybody else. Everything we post is with good intentions. We're doing our best. Be nice. Right? All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I should get back to the other channel and actually do some good things now, so. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Be nice to us if you haven't. <laughs> I will always be back soon with any good videos. And good night.